Today I'm going to play Super Mario Bros. the 1985 NES classic. Don't expect super high level gameplay though. I'm playing the uh, the Nintendo Online Switch version because this was just the easiest way to record it. But one of the reasons why I wanted to play this is because I wanted to share the story of how I got my original Nintendo. Back in the... I mean, they did it before this, but in the late 80s, we got a thing in the mail from this Olympic greeting card company. And what it was, it was kids could sell packs of Christmas cards and birthday cards and greeting cards. And you would get prizes. And so one of the prizes was you had to sell 60 packs of cards, 6-0, to get a NES action set. So it was the the Nintendo, two controllers, and a Zapper, and Duck Hunt, and Mario Brothers. So over the course of like a year, I don't actually remember how long it was, but my mom and I went door to door around the neighborhood and at every family get together and family reunion, and I would sell cards. And my mom, of course, had to handle all the business of it because I was like six years old or something. Oh, <laughs> um, but I, oh crap, but I had to be the salesman and actually sell everything. And after like a year, we had sold enough and I got an NES. That was really, really satisfying and really fun. To come home from school one day and here it is. Here's your Nintendo that you, like, six, seven-year-old Eric earned. I don't want to do the warps. And actually, that was kind of the start of every game system I ever had as a kid I bought with my own money or earned. Because the Super Nintendo, I... You know, foolishly sold that NES and all the games and had enough money to buy a Super Nintendo. And then... The N64... I did the same thing. Sold the Super Nintendo and bought the Nintendo 64. The only game system that I didn't buy for myself was a uh, PlayStation 2. My mom gave me that for Christmas in 2001. Because I came home from college and I was gonna... I was already working for Games First, or at least, you know, at the time I was previously. And I had PS2 games because my roommate had one that I was using to review stuff. And I was all like... Well, geez, it, it certainly would justify giving me one because I can use it to do work. And she bought it. <laughs> I knew that was going to go poorly from the start. It's so hard to play this game and talk. I'm so sorry. I, I told you this wasn't going to be very pretty. I tried to record this like three other times previously and had the same result. Where my story only took like four minutes to tell and then I was just playing bad the rest of the time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the weird thing about when I was a kid is that the first game system that I ever had was an NES. But apparently my family also had... An Atari, I don't know which one, that I didn't know existed until I was nine, ten years old, and my skeevy scumlord brother, uh, half brother, shows up and he's all like, Oh, I'm bored in my apartment. Oh, you should give me that thing that you have in storage. I want to play it so I won't be bored. But of course, he's a scummy asshole, so he just took that. Atari and I don't know 10 games and pawned it 
for at the time probably like 15 bucks <laughs> so I, we had an atari and that i didn't even know about There we go, that was better. Because I would have played it. Eh. <laughs> but I didn't know we even had this thing. Ah! You know... Uh, I kind of hate how Nintendo's buttons are all backwards. Because every time I pick up a controller, I forget what anything does. So it's const I'm constantly second-guessing myself about what button I'm supposed to push. <laughs> I'm playing this on the Switch, and so the buttons are all stupid anyway. I'm not complaining and making excuses. No. No. <laughs> That's silly. Don't don't be silly. No. Well, let's see if I do better at this now that I'm not trying to tell a story at the same time. But isn't that interesting? Like I was like a 6 or 7 year old and I earned my own Nintendo. I'm a badass. <laughs> Whatever, stupid turtle. But I specifically didn't want to just warp through the game because uh, I didn't want to get to hard levels while I was trying to tell stories. <laughs> the first time I ever played at NES, um, I had a friend that would come from out of town and visit his grandma like every week, every weekend, and he brought his NES one day. He was a year younger. So I was like five or six and he was four or five. And he brought his NES and Super Mario Brothers and all that. Man, all I wanted to do was just play Mario and play Nintendo. And it made him so upset. So like we'd, we'd play Nintendo and then we had to go outside and play stuff for an hour. And then come back in and play Nintendo. <laughs> so even from a, like a super early age I was hooked. I kind of feel bad about that now, looking back. But what can I say? That that early addiction led to a whole career. And it changed the rest of my life. So I guess that was good, right? I remember one time also, it was after I got my NES. And... My brother, my older brother, and one of my older cousins, that fish bit my butt. But they were there one day when I got home after school, playing like NES games that I had never seen before. So I was all like mad. Like, why are you using my system to play this stuff that I don't even know what it is? <laughs> Son of a fuck! <laughs> they were playing like karate and they played... The, uh, the wrestling game, the WWF game, where Bam Bam Bigelow was the best character. You know what one I'm talking about. I'm just gonna try to run. Ah! No! Alright, I've told my stories. Now it's, now it's go time. Now it's speedrun time. Because speedrunners always pick up that. That's a poison mushroom in other versions of this. Woo! Oh yeah, I'm high high score in it. Those those bushes look like butts. Don't they? Everybody thought so. 
But like like I was saying, I don't think I've ever beaten this game legit. I think we would get to level eight and there was one particular jump that was like the, the maximum that Mario could jump. And but the, it was like a single brick in the middle and then maximum length jumps on each side. And I think we always got to that and died and couldn't ever get any farther. And there's also a, a in World 8 that's like a maze. Or like you have to go through the, the, the stuff in the right order. That I'm pretty sure that we got to as kids and then couldn't figure out. Woo! High sc uh, Yeah! That's... That's... That's techniques. You know, like one of those, but with like maximum gaps between. I think I beat Mario Brothers 2 legit, and I definitely did 3. Like, I, I beat Mario Brothers 3 just a couple months ago. Just for funsies. And I beat Mario World, of course. Ooh, here's a fun story. I don't like Mario World 2. <laughs> I don't think Yoshi's Island is very fun at all. That's sacrilege. Oh, did you know that this was here? I think I showed this to Andrew once and he didn't know it was here. He didn't know what I was doing. He was like, there's another warp place? Yup, there sure is. Because I, you know, if, if people didn't Learn how to do stuff from the frickin' wizard first. They don't know anything about Mario. <laughs> I know Ma the wizard was Mario 3, but you know what I'm talking about. I don't know why I'm getting, like, weird forward momentum sometimes. Ugh. That was almost bad. I thought I was going to fall right down into the hole. Uh! There we go. There we go. Oh. oh no. Why is this level... This is the one I was talking about! Wow, I did it. <laughs> it's so weird how hard things are when you're a kid. Compared to when you're a grown-ass adult. Oh, now there's freaking explosion things. Ugh. Woo! Let's just calm down for a second. I'm not going to get any farther than that. But see, I just wanted to prove that I'm not a total chump. I can do it. This was Eric vs. 365, where I'm playing a different game every day for a year. You can check out psxboxindies.com for daily blogs about the games we're playing and the videos we're making. And the dumb stories I'm telling. <laughs> Thanks for watching.